Alright guys, I wanted to talk real quick about the power output results compared to Rockford's results. You may have noticed that my output results were slightly lower, in some cases quite a bit lower, with the 4 ohm bridge result. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that and why it could be. Rockford uses a power cube, which is a fancy device which can 
actually change phase and ohm loads more like a speaker would react and that's a lot fancier than just the uh, dummy loads that I use and also uh, I'm using 13.4 volts instead of 14.4 volts that Rockford uses alright guys so now I'm going to talk about my conclusion of the PBR 300 X2 mini amplifier from Rockford Fosgate well first off sound quality uh, nothing less than excellent. As you can see in my short test I showed, I used the try mode operation, which this is a difficult operation for an amplifier because it's, you know, producing the full range lows, mids, and highs. Whereas today most amps are just suited for either mids and highs or lows. So this amp handled that very well. The bass was punchy and deep, the mids and highs smooth and uncolored. Now I'm going to show some gut shots of the PBR series, uh, the 300 series from Rockford Fosgate, the X1, X2, and X4. And what you will notice here is the 300 X1 uses three very large 15,000 microfarad 25 volt caps, whereas the 300 X2 uses four 1800 microfarad 35 volt caps. Also, the 300X2 has a toroid power supply, whereas the 300X1 relies on the caps. Now, something else to note about the 300X2 is with the small size and the toroid power supply, it got extremely hot during testing and playback. I actually had to bring a fan out to kind of cool the amp down, so I would recommend giving it plenty of airflow. Even though it is very small, you still want it to be able to breathe a little bit if you want it to last. And my overall test results, I have to say this amplifier is highly recommended. You can use it in a car, motorcycle, scooter, golf cart, ATV, any other place where 12 volt power is available and, you know, requires 30 amps of current, which not unless it's at full load will it need that much. So it's very efficient for its power. This has been Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, check out my other videos. I have another video of uh, several other videos of the Rockford PBR series and maybe more to come. I may get the 500X1 soon and we'll try that one out. So anyway, this has been Big D Wiz. I appreciate you guys watching and I'm out of here.